Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly tech update, the show that explores the newest, coolest, and craziest side of tech available on the interwebs. I am your tech director, Ray McNeil. Coming up on the program today, it's an interview I did with actor Dean Aylesworth back in December of 2020. I'll play as much as I can on the program today, and then you can check out the entire interview on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Today, I talk with an actor that keeps showing up in some of my favorite shows. Really, over the past 24 years now, he's played young Bill Mulder in The X-Files. He was Anubis in Stargate SG-1, and I even saw him in episodes of The Twilight Zone, Supernatural, and one of my new favorite shows, too. He popped up in Arrow as well. Today, we find out how he's been coping with the covid and what he's working on now. Welcome to your weekly tech update, Mr. Dean Aylesworth. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I got to tell you, Stargate SG-1, eh, pretty much my favorite show these days. It's that one show that I always go back and rewatch and rewatch. And your performance is, is, is awesome. You got to tell me, how did you feel when you got the role of Anubis? Ray, um, thank you, number one, for, for saying that. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. It, uh, how did I get the role, or how did I feel about it? Um, I was pretty elated uh, I, it, to, to be able to step into such an iconic character <laughs> was, uh, you know, I you, the truth is is that I was naive of of the character and and of the show and all the rest of it um, at the uh -huh. time, uh, and 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 I walked into the audition with uh, with very limited amount of uh, of information but very poignant. Uh, my uh, my casting director was really cool. He uh, he walked me through it. He said, "Look, this is a this is a character that is established eight years previous to you showing up now." Uh, you're going to be like the first incarnation in human form. And, uh, you know, let's get this right. And that's kind of what I did. And uh, when I got it, uh, I, I laid it, like I said, but yep. naive as to the, the way. So before <laughs> you had the, the uh, uh, introduction, um, before you got in front of a camera to, to do your first Anubis, did you go and rewatch stuff? Did you check it all out? Or did you actually go into it naive? No, uh, I looked at things. I, I of course, uh, you know, I took the time of looking at, uh, at, at the series as, as, a, as an arc. Uh, yeah, I went all the way back. It, uh, yeah, I <laughs> did you get hooked on it like many of us had at that time? I totally did. I totally did. Um, and... I know so many people that are on the show that I didn't know were on the show. It was like, yeah, it was, I'm so hooked. I'm glad that you are too. Absolutely. And, and uh, again, it's an honor. It's uh, one of my favorite characters as well, because he comes from uh, being ascended and coming back down and you played him as the first human form after he was ascended and I don't know if he got banished from Ascension or what happened exactly, but uh, but it was just a wonderful thing to see him retake human form and then, of course, cause more chaos in the universe. Right? Oh, such a pleasure. Oh, such a such a such a pleasure. And there's there's so much more to this character. Let's uh, let's see more of Anubis and Stargate and MGM. Absolutely. Uh, we're all pushing for it. And I'm going to put this out uh, to everybody as well. So they can see your support for it. I, I think we're all ready for a new Stargate series. And if Stargate was to come back, I understand you were, quote, the human shell of Anubis. And well, you got killed in the episode and it got handed off to the next actor. But this is Stargate. And we seem to see the same actors portray many different characters along the way. Um, both uh, in Stargate SG-1, a bunch came back for Atlantis. If we have a new series, 
do you have any idea if they were to ask you back what character you might like to play or what type of character? I would be very, very, very honored just to even be considered. Um, but uh, Anubis would be sort of the end all be all kind of thing. I, I, of course, I would come in in any form, any form and would be flattered to do it. But uh, Anubis would be the, the, the greatest, uh, you know, he's the Himalayas. He's, he's, you know, he's Everest. There you go. Now you have a penchant for playing the bad guy. And, and I must say you play a really good bad guy. So if they did ask you back and say that you couldn't play Anubis, but you could play a good or a bad guy in the Stargate universe, what would you choose? I would choose the bad guy. The bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe I, that I could have guessed. The, best, uh, the best foil uh, in, in, in regards to the moral of any given story. I, I, I and maybe I take that on only as um, a brave shield <laughs> for their horror that they uh, perform. But uh, I, I think that that's, uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Lovely. Well, and, and as you know, by now, you do play a good bad guy. Was this something by design that you kind of went into? Or did you get cast as the bad guy early on and kind of put into that role? I don't know. It's it's always sort of been um, the red herring guy. The guy kind of the, he could be, you know, and that's the one that I've been I've been um, you know, just as far as I'm concerned, continually playing. Right, that you don't have to, you know, I'm not awful, um, you know, um, but. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and I believe, yes, the bad guy makes the good guy better. <laughs>